Today we've got a really nice geometry problem that I found in the Mathematical Gazette. So this is problem 2002.2. So it comes from the year 2002. Okay, so let's see our setup here. So we've got triangle A, B, C, and from A, there's a line segment that intersects the center point between B and C. In other words, the midpoint of B and C. And upon doing that intersection, you get the following angle measures. So the measure of angle A, D, B is 45 degrees. And then the measure of angle A, C, D, or A, C, B, depending on how you want to do it, is 30 degrees. And then the question is, what is theta degrees? Where theta degrees is the angle measure B, A, D. Okay, so let's see what we might want to do first. I think uh, kind of a logical first step is to try to get a right triangle into this situation. Let's observe that as drawn, and I actually used a protractor to get these pretty close to 45 degrees and 30 degrees, but as drawn, this angle ABC or ABD is not 90 degrees. So we in fact don't have a right triangle in the situation right now. So perhaps we'll extend this line segment CB until we can send up a perpendicular line segment to A. Okay, so let's get that on the board. Okay, so there we've got it. We've got the extension of line segment CB so that we get this perpendicular line segment up to A. And now let's give this new point a name. And since we've got A, B, C, D on the board, perhaps we should call that E. And then also we know that D is the midpoint of B and C. So the length of BD and the length of DC are the same. So we might as well call those X and well, that's another X right there. And then this little bit from E to B, we're going to need a measurement for that as well. And this is in fact, you know, maybe going to be called Y. I think that's a good choice here. Okay, and then, well, let's notice the following. We've got A, E, D, triangle A, E, D, I should say, is a 45, 45, 90 right triangle where the 45 degrees here is theta plus this little bit right here, which is angle A, E, B. And well, we know that's 45 degrees because the angle sum of a triangle is 180, and here we have 90 plus 45. But what we'll use from that is the fact that ED is the same thing as AB, given their opposite sides from angles with the same measurement inside an isosceles triangle. So that's going to give the length of EB x plus y, because that's what we have here, x and then y. Okay, and then we can do some trigonometry. So let's do the tangent of 30 degrees. So let's observe that thinking about the large right triangle AEC, we see that the tangent of 30 degrees is going to be opposite, which is x plus y over adjacent, which is x plus x plus y. In other words, 2x plus y. Furthermore, the tangent of 30 degrees is a well-known value, and that value is 1 over the square root of 3. So that gives us this nice equation, 1 over root 3 equals, will this x plus y over 2x plus y. And now what we'd like to do from here is solve not for x, not for y, but for x over y. So let's see if we can do that. So cross multiplying through, that gives us 2x plus y equals root 3x plus root 3y. Okay, so that's good. And then from there, what can we do? Well, we'll get 2 minus root 3 times x, so that's removing the square root of 3 over to the left-hand side of the equation, is the same thing as the square root of 3 minus 1 times y. So that's removing the y from the left to the right-hand side of the equation. But now we can divide by y and then divide by 2 minus the square root of 3, 
and that's going to leave us with x over y equals square root of 3 minus 1 over 2 minus the square root of 3. So let's put a box around that because that's in fact going to be pretty helpful. And now our next step will be to take the tangent of another angle in a right triangle in this situation. And so the right triangle that we want to work with here, triangle AEB. So we can talk our way through some of the angle measurements here. Notice that this angle right here, which is EAB, well, that's going to be 45 minus theta. That's because this whole thing is 45 degrees by our previous discussion. Well, if this bit is theta, that has to be 45 minus theta. But then if this is 45 minus theta, then this bit right here, EBA, has to be 45 plus theta. Given that we need the angle sum for triangle AEB to be 180 degrees. So we'll look at the tangent of that theta plus 45 degrees. Maybe I'll put a little star right here and point out that that is taking the tangent of this angle right here. So taking the tangent of that angle right there, observe that's going to be x plus y over y. So here we have this is x plus y over y, which can be simplified to x over y plus 1. But now let's observe that we know what x over y is. So this is in fact the square root of 3 minus 1 over 2 minus the square root of 3. And to that, we need to add the number 1, but we'll add that in the form 2 minus root 3 over 2 minus root 3. Okay, but now let's see what simplifies. So the denominator will be 2 minus root 3, and then the numerator, well, that's going to be the root 3's cancel, and then we've got negative 1 plus 2, which is 1. Okay, but now we might as well rationalize this thing by multiplying by 2 plus root 3 over 2 plus root 3, and we'll see that we get 2 plus the square root of 3. But let's look at what we have here. We have the tangent of theta plus 45 is equal to 2 plus root 3. But from here, what we'll do is find another kind of semi-well-known angle for which the tangent of that angle is 2 plus root 3, and then we're essentially done. Okay, so on the last board, we found out that tangent of theta plus 45 was equal to 2 plus the square root of 3. And I mentioned that we'd use a semi-well-known value of the tangent function to finish this thing off, but I think we'll take another tack at this, and what we'll do is apply the angle sum formula to tangent with theta plus 45. So that's going to give us the following. So I'll just extend this equal sign down, and that'll give us the tangent of theta plus the tangent of 45, keeping in mind that we're using degrees here, over 1 minus the tangent of theta times the tangent of 45, keeping in mind that we're using degrees here. But now, it's well known that the tangent of 45 degrees is 1, so both of these terms turn into 1. But then rewriting this, keeping in mind that we've got a 2 plus root 3 over on one side of the equation, that gives us tangent of theta plus 1 over 1 minus tangent of theta equals 2 plus root 3. But now we can multiply through, and that'll give us tangent of theta plus 1 equals, let's see, it'll be 2 plus root 3 minus 2 plus root 3 times tan theta. But now we can move some things around. Like, let's for instance subtract 1 over, and then we'll add this 2 plus root 3 tangent. That leaves us with 3 plus root 3 tangent of theta equals, let's see, 1 plus the square root of 3. Now what we can do is divide by 3 plus root 3, and we have the tangent of theta equals 1 plus root 3 over 3 plus root 3. And then from here, we can rationalize the denominator. So maybe 3 minus root 3 to the numerator in the denominator. And let's see. Upstairs, what will we have? Well, we're going to have 3 minus 3 for the rational parts. 
And then we're also going to have 3 root 3 minus root 3. In other words, we'll have 2 times the square root of 3. And then in the denominator, we'll end up with 9 minus 3. In other words, 6. So in the end, we get the square root of 3 over 3, which is the same thing as 1 over the square root of 3. So let's see what we have. We have tangent of theta is equal to 1 over root 3. But we already used the fact that the tangent of 30 degrees was 1 over root 3. So we can just reuse that to tell us that theta is 30 degrees. 